Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel One Room Plant Guy. I hope you're well. My name is Russell and thank you so much for joining me here today. So hello everybody and thank you so much for joining me here today. I'm Russell and I shall be talking about the Philodendron Sidori. Um, here she is. Now she's also called a silver leaf philodendron. She's got this lovely amazing heart-shaped leaf with this silver fleck going through as you can see. Okay, now she's, this is the mother leaf here, and you can see that she's put on this growth since I've had her, amazing. But she won't put out any strong growth until I put her in soil, until I get her in a bigger pot, which is what we're going to do today. Now this plant can grow between one and three feet per season. Great, eh? I can't wait. If I get that, I'll be really happy. She's from South America. I will put the names of the countries below because there's a few of them. And she, her temperature, the temperature she likes it at is between 55 and 80 Fahrenheit or 13 to 27 Celsius, okay? Humidity above 60 if possible, nothing below 60. She won't hate it, but if it's below 50, she'll really hate it, okay? She'll start drying up on the edges. So if you need to increase your humidity, spray her down with a bit of mist or Alternatively, put her pot on a bed of stones, gravel, and just keep some water under that gravel. Not so the water can go into the pot, but just so that when that water evaporates, it causes, it causes a climate around the plant that is more humid than your room that you're keeping her in, okay? Light, she likes indirect light, but she does like a bit of light. So if you're doing it in a, doing it in a sort of south facing window, which is obviously most of the light during the day, you need sort of about 85% sun, so maybe 15% of that needs to be shaded, some sort of curtain, or just bring her back slightly in front of the window, okay? So let's get on and replant her. So let's see what we've got here. So there's a moss in here, and I've got my new pot, so let me get my new pot. Now I use a clear pot so I can see the roots with such a juvenile plant. These are mostly orchid pods, but I use these clear pods when, when a plant is so young, so I can keep check on the roots as it's growing. So if anything's going wrong, I can quickly see and assess it, okay? When it goes from this size to the next size, it will be a terracotta pot, okay? So let's take this plant first and see what we have. So this is gonna be slightly sort of abrasive to the plant. So this is in moss, okay? So I've gotta be very careful how I take the moss out. So these roots are absolutely great, There's loads of them. So I'm just slowly taking that off. There's a lot of, there's a lot of uh, moss here and these roots are loving it. So this will probably set the plant back a bit because you're gonna break some roots and you don't really want to. You won't be able to get rid of all the moss, okay? Because it will be just stuck on, and you can't tell what is moss and what isn't. Take this stick off. So just slowly work at it. There's no rush. So here we are, this is as much root as I'm gonna probably get off. Um, there is still slightly bits of moss tucked in there. So I've taken as much moss off as I can and want to. There's still some really in tight, but I don't wanna pull any more roots away because you are damaging the roots as you do it. Um, so I'm gonna place this in the pot. So that will fit in perfectly. I'm gonna get some of the soil it's my monster and philodendron soil. I will put the ingredients down below of what I use. There's a well draining soil. And just put the 
mal einfach. And gently pat the plant down. Taking very big chunks out. You can use that with my orchids, so I'm not worried about big chunky bits of bark like that. And it needs barking because it gives it very good drainage. Now I shall water this off camera. When I water this, I'll just put the water through, let it drain, and then I'll put it back in the pot. And I'll do that. I'll keep an eye on him for a couple of weeks closely. And after that, if, if the leaves don't deteriorate, I know that the plant has taken to its new pot, okay? So we place that on there. Now, with all my plants, I always use a light meter. I've said it through a lot of my videos. I overwater plants. I'm one of these people that do. I'm always worrying about them. I check them or sometimes I think, oh, I've watered them and when I haven't, and they're really dry. So this tells me if I need to water the plant, you'll know that some plants like the Stromalpha behind me needs to be moist. Whereas the Philodendron Monstera, if it's too moist, too wet, you'll rot the root. Okay, it likes to have root rot on the Monstera um, time constellation. So this one, I always have to make sure that I, before I water, I check the water, check the soil to make sure it's dry enough. And the same will be with Philodendron Sodori. I shall check the soil once a week, every 10 days to make sure that it needs watering. If it doesn't, I won't water it. All your plants won't want to be watered every single time you water them. Okay, so having a day where you just water plants is not really the way to go. If you've got like three plants, that's fine. But if you've got, you know, above 50 to 100 or 200 plants, you're not going to be wanting to water them all on the same day because they're all different schedules. Okay, because they're different plants. So there you have it, the silver leaf philodendrum, or other known as philodendrum sodori. She's here, she just, she's been repotted. I just need to water her. And with this new uh, Monstera philodendrum soil, she's gonna love this instead of the moss. It might take her a couple of weeks to get climatized to this, but I'm sure she'll be fine. Um, I shall bring you regular updates. Hopefully she'll go like the clappers and grow quite big now with her new leaves. There you have it. Thank you so much for joining me here today. Please like and subscribe. Please comment down below and I shall speak to you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.